Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Man. I am Josh. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. How What's, you doing? I'm good. How are you? What's up? Oh, a couple things. First of all, good to see you. Good to see you. As usual. Absolutely. There are some things I want to get into. Before I forget, the, a 16-year-old kid reached out to me on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. One of those. Yeah. Somewhere on the interwebs. Probably Instagram. And he was like, hey, my friend and I are starting a podcast. We say Hey Man together and Hey Man a lot. We were going to name it Hey Man. Are you cool with that? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by I the just, way, such a 16-year-old dude question. By I, the way, what like, I said to him was, look, dude, he was like, we don't have any legal money to pay if you come after us. I said, I wouldn't come after you. I said, that's not the deal. I said, I'm saying no. I'm not. I'm saying I, I don't think it's a good idea because you want to be your own show. Yeah, 100%. Don't. And uh, if you think the name of the show is what's going to dictate if you get viewers or not, then your show is going to eat dicks. Mm -hmm. So just find a different thing that yeah. you guys, you know. Absolutely. What did he say? I haven't honestly looked back at You the, should. Look, yeah. look, look at it. I bet you it's on Instagram. You know, I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look all through there. You want me to go through your DMs? No. <laughs> you can go through my DMs. There, It's just a bunch of, hey. Hey, man. Hey. It's probably what my DMs look like, in all honesty. Uh, I, I, okay, everybody. First of all. It's pretty funny, though. Thank you. For those of you who came to the shows this weekend in Vegas, they were amazing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely I amazing. I want to get to them in a second. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everybody who came to the Monday night show in Vegas. Mm -hmm. We set, for me, a ticket record. The tickets are going up every week. I've kind of changed the um, format of the show just a little bit. Okay. Uh, because it's not as late, so a little less music and a little less weird and more stand-up. Um, but Monday night show was amazing. Um, and then Denver this weekend, guys, mm -hmm. early shows are sold Friday night, late show. You weird motherfuckers. We're doing mushrooms. So come out, come out wherever you are, mm -hmm. but Friday, Saturday, and then next week, look guys, these are the places where this podcast hits the most yep. Denver, not Denver, Chicago, Minneapolis, and Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's where we are the week after theater, 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 mm -hmm. Chicago on Thursday, the 14th. Minneapolis, those tickets are almost all gone. Friday the 15th, and then I have no idea about Harris, Michigan, but we always sell, like we sold every ticket in Royal Oak. Yeah, we, yeah. we sell in Michigan. And so um, come out. And also, guys, a huge thank you to everybody's listening for the first time. Um, all you, the new listeners, uh, I, I read all your comments. If you are watching on YouTube, you know that everybody leaves a comment. I comment back. I'm reading it all uh, just to thank you guys for participating in this. Um, and we're having a good time, man. And with that, listen. What's up? You were so good uh, this weekend, dude. Thanks, man. I was because we were talking about, and, and listen, we're gonna nerd out, we're gonna comedy nerd out for a little bit up front. Okay. Be, and if if you and you know me, um, and we and Mary Up Church. Was our opener this yep. weekend. She was phenomenal. Absolutely. But I loved sitting with her in the green room. I love talking comedy. I love people asking me my opinion on things. You know what I really loved about her? Uh, when you guys were talking, she took notes. Yeah. Like, like physical notes, which I thought was awesome. Because yeah. she was really like there and excited to learn, which I thought was great. But she's also super funny already. Super like, funny. Super funny. And the thing about comedy is... I mean, I I guess there are a couple of rules, yeah, but yeah. they're real. They're so broad, yeah. And, and so, like, it's always just my opinion about you know, you people are asking me, but I love talking stand up, uh -huh. and I love stand up comics, and I love comedy. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you something: we were talking about going in that this was going to be your most difficult weekend. True. And why did we think it was going to be your most difficult weekend? Because most of this, because Vegas, Vegas shows, uh, at least for comedy, unless you're somebody with, you know, a, a large name, people who go to comedy shows in Vegas are just people who want to go see a comedy show. They most of the time aren't going because they know who the comic is. It's, I, I wouldn't go that drastic, but it is split more than on the road. Right. When we go to Denver, it's comedy works. People are coming because I'm there. Correct. And there are people who just go out to shows who get free tickets in Vegas, mm -hmm. who are just looking for something to do at 730 that's near the hotel, mm -hmm. who just put in comedy in Vegas. Right, 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 right. And so the, you weren't going to get some of the courtesy laughs that you get on the road. That we both get. Absolutely. By the way. By the yeah. Way, but we both get. So tell me, I'm so curious, what 
you learned, what you take away from the weekend. I'll tell you what I afterwards. Well, you can tell me first. Okay. You're already, you're already still talking. So I mean, like, yeah, but, but I want to hear from you. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, like what I took from the weekend is, yeah, there, uh, see, this is why I said you should Your just zit looks so much better. Holy shit, yeah, dude, bro. I'm not going to lie. It still hurts. Dude, but yesterday, was that yesterday? Two days ago. Two days ago, I was like, that looks like he's got Inspector Pim growing on his... Well, I popped it yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Was it a mirror shot? No, it didn't hit mirror. Um, I, but then again, I usually get close to the mirror just to say I hit mirror shots. Do you, but, did, did you get but, a weird satisfaction with the mirror shot? By the way, we're talking about pop exists, everybody. I hope everybody knows oh, that. Oh, is that what we're talking about? I hope so. Yeah, yeah that's what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Who jerks off on a mirror? I fucking weird people. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? Why? Who just jerks trying to... off over a mirror? By the way, if you do, tag me. I have a lot of questions for you. <sighs> don't uh, reach out to me. Don't reach out to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want any of that shit. Send that to him. I, I don't want none of that. I wonder why you would jerk off onto a mirror. Because you're a, a narcissist and you like yourself that much. What? You're like an it's like an ego thing? I don't know. You look, but you already see your dick. You don't need to see it in a mirror. What do you want to see? The underside? I don't fucking know. The undercarriage? You're asking someone who doesn't jerk off on a mirror. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have the fucking answer to that. You Google it. I don't know. Quaggle it. You think I should Google who jerks off on a mirror? Just <laughs> I'm gonna Google that right no, now. No, I thought you were gonna Google jerk off on mirror. No, I know what's lot, gonna come up. There would have been a lot of unfortunate links if you want to go. If I write who masturbates. On mirrors. I'm really curious to see what this Me Google. too, dude. Because like what? I don't even... A port hub's going to pop up for sure. I masturbate to myself in the mirror sometimes. That's different. No, because that's exactly what I said. It's like you you like yourself so much, you masturbate to yourself. Like that's exactly what you're in love with yourself. Yeah. I mean, I don't do that, but I guess I understand it. I'm more just talking about dick over the mirror like a like a not oh in, like one that was like yeah, below yeah, you yeah that's what i'm talking about oh oh i'm not talking about straight ahead oh, that mirror shot that's oh. what that sounds like yeah. is like mirror sh yeah yeah i'm sorry i should have yeah you should have spaced them out mirror like, shot with a zip but i'm talking about like almost like a coke mirror like who would jerk off onto a mirror not shot onto a mirror yeah well you should have clarified yeah that. no the other because looking in the mirror i understand looking in the mirror makes more sense than you just placing a mirror and you're like what are you doing like oh you know how some people use a towel yeah i use a mirror yeah that's like, what i'm saying yeah fucking no one yeah okay okay just making sure okay right. so what were we talking and by about the way your zit looks good that's what we were talking about yeah. <laughs> I don't know the fuck it, we got there it it's still by the way it still gives me a headache like this is a this is a zit that legit just being there if like i touch around it my whole forehead hurts. My whole head hurts. Like, it's just like... Do you know what I hate is when you can feel your heartbeat and your zit? Never had that happen. What? What do you mean feel your heartbeat and you your zit? You can feel like the dung, 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 dung. You mean like yeah, after you pop it? Yo, am I crazy? Like after you pop it? No, dude. It's so filled. It's so pressure packed that you can... Dung, dung. You can feel... Well, it doesn't have a mind of its own type shit. No, like, but the blood rushes through it and it's so tight. It's tight like a... Toyga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, all right, no, so, yeah, no. So yeah, so yeah, that bitch hurts. Right, um, go back to the weekend. I'm so sorry. Um, I will say, like, there were, it, and I find comedy so weird because, and like, interesting. It, it's like a science. There are some things you tell me, like some words work better than others. Some words before, like, if you mix sentences around, work better, but they mean the same exact thing, right? I like this weekend was really interesting to see some jokes that work everywhere, not work here. And it's not even like jokes that more relate to you. It's just jokes that have, that have, that just usually the, there's a kick in them, right? Like, I don't know what you mean by a kick in them. Like usually there's a chuckle out of them. Like oh, it's yeah, something yeah, that yeah. just kind of sets up my next punchline. Can but, you give me one word without giving away your jokes? Cause I know. Way, huh? I know. Oh, okay. That yeah. for the first four shows didn't get a laugh. Yeah. And I was so confused as to why. Cause also it fucks up my cadence. Why do you think? I I don't. I don't know because in the fifth show, it got the only laugh and one of my biggest for the weekend. So I don't get that. Like I, I truthfully, I delivered it, tried to deliver it similarly, but different yeah, yeah. because the way I usually uh, deliver it, it gets that laugh. But I will say it really fucked with my cadence in that last, but thank God it's like, you know, towards the end, but like it, not hearing it, I was like, do I still break or do I rush into that next one? Like, it was strange to see jokes that seem not universal, but seem that people who don't know you would still think is funny 
not it, laugh. Isn't it interesting that when the laugh gets taken, that's actually part of your timing for your jokes? Yeah, because yeah. Because you are pausing, and when that's not there... Do you pause for the same amount of time to get into your... And I would say, yes, dude. Yes? Don't let them dictate your pace. However you tell the story is how you tell the story. Right. You know? Right. I I, I think I cut it in half. I don't think I yeah. took the full laugh, like what would be the laugh beat. I think I just like waited a beat and then was just like, let's hit it. Because I, there's another laugh right after that. Yeah. Yep. So for me, it's like... I'd rather there be less dead space in the room, and especially because it's pretty much what I end on. Yeah, like not pretty much; it is what I end on. Like that, that, that. When next... you do the full set, no, oh no, no, no. When I just do the half right, set, right, right. When right, I just right, do the half right, set, right. like that, that little spot is literally the end of my set. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. Like I was just like, just fill, just fill that empty space, and just end it real quick on that laugh, and then, you know, yeah, hop off. Yeah. But on Sunday. Which, by the way, didn't expect the Sunday crowd to be the crowd of the week, like at least the crowd that I thought was the crowd for me for the weekend. Which was odd because what did I say? That was my worst show of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It had nothing to do with the crowd, by the way. No, it had to do with me. But I will, like, but I, I, yeah, no. Sunday was the set of my life. I, I, I came off that set like really amped up, dude. I was. I want to tell you, uh, you know, we hug in between, like whenever you walk off stage. Mm -hmm. But I was so excited for you. I could feel your energy in how, look, man, a good set there. I have chased that high. My, I, I struggle to find a drug that comes close to that. Yeah. I struggle to find a feeling so satisfying and so uplifting because not only, okay, for me, not only because I think of comedy as a puzzle, right? Right. So not only did I fucking put all the pieces in the puzzle in the right spot, which feels fucking great. And I change something every set. Right. So if I have a really good set, that means to me, oh, that stuff that I moved around works. Right. Right. So that feels good. Excuse me. The energy from people laughing fills me the fuck up. Hmm. It fills me 100%, 100%, 100%. I understand that. I feel, I love it. I love it so much. And um, yeah, and so I'll tell you, man, I was really impressed with watching you. Can I tell you, man, there, I know there are people out there, comics, who've been doing it a couple of years, who are like, this fucking guy, you didn't have to do... Right, he didn't have to do any of the open mics. He gets to stand up in front of all these live crowds. Just fucking so lucky. And I want to tell all of them something about your journey. Yo, the grass isn't always greener, everybody. There are some positives that he gets. 100%. I'm going to tell you what the positives are, and I'm going to tell you what the straight-up fucking challenges are. I got I, I got a list of those fucking challenges, too, dog. I, I, that I thought of this weekend. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. I hadn't thought of that. First of all, here's obviously the good. You're standing in front of a home crowd most of the weekend. 100%. Right? Not only are you standing in front of a home crowd, you're not standing in front of a bringer show. You're not standing in front of a crowd, and you've never had to stand in front of a crowd where everybody got free tickets. Right. These people pay to go to a comedy show. Right. So that's a, that right there is a huge advantage as far as crowd, how hard you're going to have to work to keep people's attention. Mm -hmm. People's attention flicker a little easier when they didn't pay for tickets. Yeah, okay. 100%. So there's no doubt, with all that, you started on third base. Yep. Let me tell you what you have to do that nobody else has to do. One, somebody said to me, hey, you're, it said something about your son, and he was like, I'm, I didn't know until you got on stage that he'd only been doing that for five months. And, and he was like, yeah, it, I... Would have been less judgmental. He said, I just assume someone on stage with you has been doing it for years. There, it's an expect, it's a, it's a set expectation yeah. that I have above my head. Yeah, it is above your head. That it, I have way, like sitting on top of me. That people have for you. That people have for me. Yes. They're like, oh, this is Josh Wolf's son. Oh, we've seen videos of him. He's automatically going to be funny on stage. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm not, they're like, what the fuck? It's not just funny, dude. It's also. 
look, and this is not a knock on you. And six months in, you're more comfortable than, I mean, it. everybody who sees it is like, is that really just six months? So I'm telling you right now, your level of comfort is bananas. Your how you stay still, you don't have a whole lot of the hiccups and twitches that a lot of young comics have. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, right? But they expect you to be further along than you are. Not only that, but dude, I didn't think about this until I saw a city on our schedule where I was like, oh, we're going back there. And I was like, oh, shit. Look, dude, most people get to develop in anonymity. Mm -hmm. Nobody nobody sees people who haven't who've been doing comedy for the first three years. Yeah. Nobody, nobody sees them. You're not doing it in anonymity. Not only that, but when we go back to a city... I have to have new jokes. And this is what I would tell you. You don't. But... But... I've... But those jokes better be better. Facts. Right? And, and so, like, that's the thing, right? So... You usually you would take these jokes and it, the first first three or four years you would work on basically the same jokes. Yeah, you're not you're gonna. gonna have, I'm not gonna get that chance while you're figuring out how to do stand up. You're going to have to change your material, which is fucking bananas. Everybody, like, I talked with Mary. To the, I talked about that with Mary this weekend. It's crazy. Prison. It's crazy. Yeah. Because by that time, let's think about it. Austin, Texas was the first place I ever performed. Yeah, and that was late March of this year. Oh, it's coming up, dude. Oh, it's coming up, dude. Like, ah, uh, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, look, Austin's never heard the f- other story that I have, so I can right. still do that for a little bit. But I would tell you, you can do it, you can do more, and you can, and you can, you, because you, what you should do is work on the jokes um, by adding, by stretching, by yeah. punching, by trimming, by, but you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so, because you can say to the people, for those of you who heard this joke before, newer, bigger, better, stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, because the first time I told in Austin, it was like two or five minutes. Yeah. That joke now is like, we got to be 10. Yeah. At least. Not only that, dude. You know what you're doing that nobody else is doing that I know of? Stories? You're, you started your comedy career doing stories. That, I can't think of anybody who's done that. Except the opener that I have, but that opener is fucking gas. It's funny, dude. I love that It's opener. funny. And that one is like 100% me, That's which I joke. really like. Yeah. I mean, I asked you for some clarity in some certain things, but like the yeah. premise it's itself, yours. It's like yours. it's yours. I'm pretty excited about that. You, you should be, man. And I just want to tell you, not only as your dad, but as a fellow comedian, I'm very proud of you. I appreciate it. Very Thank proud you. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will tell you something else. And I've said this maybe a million times. You want to grow? Watch your fucking sets. Yeah, I was looking at that impro- the Orlando one today. Were you? Yeah, I was peeking at it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to watch the rest of it when I get watch home Watch all of those sets, dude. I only have the Orlando one. I, have, I think I have, oh, 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 like the Orlando. All, yeah, yeah. Oh, we did four shows, five shows? Yeah, and you can call like Tommy. And, I, and you can call Tommy. But you should watch all of your sets. Okay. Okay. But just want you to know, super proud of you. Um, really impressed. I had somebody say to me also, when it was you two on stage together, that's when the show took off. Like you were both funny doing stand up, but you're both so comfortable with each other mm-hmm. that it was really cool watching the improv and conversation that you guys had on stage together. So I have to remember that. And from now on, if I'm going to shelf something, it's going to be music. It's not going to be me and you. Okay. I'm in for that. Okay. But just super proud of you, man. I want you to know that people were really impressed. I want you to know that I was very impressed as a, you, because you didn't, uh, you didn't shy away from the difficult weekend. You leaned into it. Mm-hmm. And I put a funny person in front of you on purpose. Mm-hmm. A, a funny seasoned person. Mm-hmm. I also, I remember telling you, like, I remember driving us back Saturday night. Remember what I said to you in the car when we were on the freeway? Mm. I was like, yo, tomorrow's gonna be my best set of the weekend. Yeah, you did say that. Over and over again. And I didn't even do my full set because there were, well, we had a show after us, so I remember that. So I was like, alright, I got I have to choose one and I chose to go one way and I kept telling myself, I was like, this is still going to be my best side of the weekend. And it was. 
And we won some money. And we won some money. I should have had more money Saturday night, but gambling got the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'll say something else. That Monday, that Friday night mushroom show, I, I've heard this now a couple times. And guys, we're going to be doing the mushroom show in Denver. Woo! I've heard now a couple people say, we can't even tell you're on mushrooms, but the pace of the slow of the show was so slow. Yeah, but also... that uh, Can I just say, everybody, that's how you can tell. Mushrooms, like when we do the Q&A and I'm on mushrooms, my mind is all over the place. You can't focus a single bit. But... I can't I, wait to do that. In I focus so intensely... On your set. When I'm doing mushrooms, that it slows it down to a pace that I'm not going to lie to you, I fucking love. I love, I, I love, and the mushrooms, and I'm going to comedy nerd out again, guys. I switch everything. I, I never know what's perfect. There's nothing perfect. I never know. But the mushrooms have showed me that some of my stories work really well at a really slow, methodic pace. Interesting. Yeah, dude. I, you know, I fucking love stand up. I love the puzzle. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I, I learned a lot this do, weekend. Do you love it? I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> Jeez. I You've said it a gazillion it. times so as we started. Sorry, I, no, I, no, I don't be sorry. I'm glad that you love what you do. Like, uh, I just like making fun of you. Do you... Have you started to enjoy it? Yeah, I, I've already started enjoying it. But, like, there are shows like this weekend. And, like, I mean, there have been probably three weekends in this past month and a half or two that I've come off and been like, that's my best set of the weekend. Like mm -hmm. I did it, I did it in Orlando. Mm -hmm. I did it in Columbus mm -hmm. before that. Um, I did it one other time before that as well, where I came off and felt like really, really good. Mm -hmm. But this Sunday show was, there was, yeah, nothing's been like it yet. Did you, do you remember what you said to me right before we hugged? I murdered. Yeah, I murdered. Yeah. I, I murdered. I just that. said, I said, I just murdered yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that made, Vivid. Yeah, vivid. It made me so happy, dude. I was pretty excited about it. Yeah, I... Yeah, it made me so happy. I so, came out like fucking punching in the green room and shit. I was like doing yeah, kicks. I was like fucking, yeah! Listen, and I didn't tell you, I knew Mary was funny. I didn't tell you I was going to put somebody I, funny and high energy in front of you. I knew you were gonna. Like, you didn't have to tell me. That's also how our shows go. So if it's going to be somebody, it's going to be someone who's going who's gonna to have that energy that we do. So, well, I, listen, man, it's all about challenges. No, there, there are very few people six months into the game who have to follow somebody like Mary. Right. You're usually opening the show. True. True. So, yeah, man. Big, big ups to you. Thank you. Um, I want to say, uh, okay. And, and we can, how, we, will your thing go for a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me just bring up one other thing. Okay. You saw that story about that person who shit on the plane. Uh, what, the biohazard? Oh, my God. Yeah, where it was declared that it was... Oh, okay. So I think I, I heard the actual how... Like, what it means by all over the plane. Shit. I, here, can I guess? Because this is what I think. Yes. I think... And I learned it was a she, which blew my mind. Bummer. Yeah. I, I'm assuming she was at near the front of the plane and either shitted herself... Shitted herself. It's just like how you said that. Either shitted. Either, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Either shit. Either she either shitted herself <laughs> up top. I love shitted. Stop. Why are you saying shitted? Because it's so much better than shat. Shitted herself is, I love you it. You could just say shit the correct way. No. She, oh. <laughs> there are two things that I love saying. I love saying shitted herself or shit. I shitted myself. And you know what else I like? I love, instead of saying hard pass, I say flaccid pass. Yeah, we talked about that this I said, weekend. that's a flaccid pass for me. Yeah, flaccid pass yeah, is pretty yeah. fucking Those are funny. my two favorites, but flaccid pass. Um, flaccid pass on the shitted herself, for yeah. sure. My, I'm assuming she either shitted herself up front and ran back or shitted herself on the way back. Well, so I wasn't clarified on whether, at what point Was there a she, video? No, oh. no. It didn't clarify on what point she shitted herself. It wasn't, they didn't clarify whether it was in the seat up front or while she was walking, but you are in the correct ballpark of as she was walking to the back, it dribbled down her leg and was all in the aisle. And by the time they got back to Atlanta, they had to cut the carpets out of the plane. W while in flight, they cut the carpets out? I don't know. No, I think when they got back to the airport. I mean, they... Dude, the only, not even Liam Neeson could have solved that puzzle. No. <laughs> He'd have been on that plane like, I don't know. That's, yeah. That's all fucking jump. <laughs> <laughs>
That listen. <laughs> yeah, look. Did they lock her in the bathroom? That's what I would have done. No, because then what about all the other people who have to who have to Who's use the going in the bathroom after that? We're using the first class bathroom. She gets locked in. Yeah, but how about all the people in the back who probably have to smell what she's got down there? You should have made better choices when you booked your flight. You yeah, you can't you can't flight. say that to people though. But how about this, dude? By the way, I would have to write this song within the next two days, but did you just shit on the plane? Woo! <laughs> A little Rihanna? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I'm in 22 C. You walking down to poo? You just pooed all over me. Eh, so we, we, it'll be fun. Did you just shit on the plane? I'm writing tonight. <laughs> Did you just shit on the plane? <laughs> Got me feeling this way. <laughs> Come on, dude. Do you, you keep going. I'm just I'm just sitting here chewing. I'm sorry, but I I, I I'm gonna write it tonight. Okay, all right. You should write it on the highlight. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, everybody. I, I think I'm going to start doing Wednesday Night High Lives. You might join me. I'm going to have other people join me. You're bringing back the High Live? I'm bringing back the High Live. Well, you can't do Wednesday Night High Lives. We leave Wednesday nights mostly. Well, I won't leave. I won't do them that night. Or we'll do them when we get to the hotel. In the morning? Did you just poop on the plane? Boop. Um, But I'm tired of this motherfucking shit on this motherfucking <laughs> plane. <laughs> Samuel Jackson. <laughs> oh, uh, dude, this is like, uh, can I Jesus. just say, I, I don't, I, I don't wish that, that it happened when I was on the plane, but I don't not wish. I'm glad it didn't happen while we were on the plane. I, I, here's the thing. I go back and forth. I would have loved to have been, it, what a great story though. I could have done an entire set. on it. How about that story of when you were, you and, uh, you and cable guy were on the plane though. And, oh, and the, and uh, the farting. <sighs> that dude who stood up in the back, that is a great story. That the uh that he wasn't on the plane. You're 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 mixing Am two. Am I switching two people? Well, no. So cable guy and I I used to travel with Larry the Cable Guy. And um at the time I had really bad farts. And I I oh, loved, it was you. I loved farting in front of him. And I loved saving him up. I would save him up till we got on the plane. Sometimes I would eat what I knew made me fart the night before and just so I could just get on there and just... Tsst. Gross. <sighs> Gross. Shh. Okay, okay. I get the <laughs> What are you, Jason from Friday the 13th now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. If you, <laughs> could, if you could pick... If you tell me something. And then if you could pick a noise that your fart made every time, what would Ooh. it be? I listen, dude. I know what mine would be. What would yours be? Ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> so it's, it is the Friday the Thirteenth. The Friday the Thirteenth would be amazing <sighs> if every time you farted it went. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of noises that would be funny every time you farted. What if? What if your? What if your asshole just just every time you farted it went cheerio. <laughs> 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 There's so many things like, like if every time you farted, a fucking leaf blower just started oh, or like, or like a gong sounded. Or, Gong's not bad. Like there's so many different, like you could just go through the ringtones on your iPhone and it, there are I so wouldn't many, mind. like the blues one, like the, -din -din -din, like just comes out of your ass every time you How fart. How about like a, like a horn section from a mariachi band? Horn was just like a straight up like trucker horn. Like just like a <laughs> Yeah, just yeah. like something. Or, uh, or a ooga. Like yeah, an old cartoony dude. noise. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a bunch of things you could do with it, which uh, I think is funny. You didn't pick one. Any of those. No, all of those. You gotta pick one. That's not how this podcast works. Mm. Pick one that you like. Your what about your laugh? My laugh? Your laugh. That would be <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that, that would, would be, be awesome. That yeah. would be super funny. Double and people, because people would know that something bad is coming. <laughs> yeah, you know, what and I mean? then they'll smell it. Oh, or like dude. the Jaws theme song. Bum bum. Yeah, yeah. What about the Star Wars? How does Star Wars go? That's one Superman. No, Superman. Yeah, What is it? No. 
what, what the fuck? <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded Star like. Star Wars. Hold on. Let me give me a couple more guesses. Okay. No, that was Jurassic Park. I was just had. <laughs> How about bum, ba-na, ba-na, na, na, na. you just did that? Oh, I did that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but am I close? Yeah, I had fucking you, Jurassic I, Park in my head. John yeah, is it, it's John Williams. I had start, Jurassic did... Park in my head. And okay, I was like, okay. that's not fucking okay. right. Okay, okay. just okay. close. Okay, Star Wars oh, theme God. music. The, uh, the, Da, 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 da. That's how the beginning of all the movies started. Uh, that's the Imperial that's March. The yeah. Imperial March. Yeah. Does it go bum ba na ba na na? I just did that again. <laughs> Bro. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah. Clearly. That's a groove in my brain that is just, I'm g- not getting out of. You have a smooth, <laughs> you have what we like to call a smooth brain. No valleys, no bumps, no lumps, no oh, nothing. Water, thoughts just fall right off it like a water slide. Well, like, I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> Try one more time. I know it's going to come out the same way. <laughs> me too. That's why I wanted it to Are you going to get me the Star Wars yeah, I'm going to play it for you. Okay, then give me, give me, listen to it so I can't hear it. And then just give me the first two notes. Okay? Will you do that for me? I know it's not. <laughs> but I think it's close to that. I do think it's close. And it's not the... That means shit's about to go down. Okay, hit me. Give me... Wait, wait, wait what do you want? You want me to... First three... First three notes. Do you want me to play it for you or do it for you? Uh, you do it. Or do you want to play it? Which one do you like? Well, you can't hear that, can you? No. I think you're going to get it right after it starts. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) How did you end up with that? (laughs) I literally played it for you. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, do it again. Yeah, and then it goes. Bum, 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 bum. I was close. <laughs> not the one even. <laughs> you were not even close. Okay, all right. So here's the thing with him, ladies and gentlemen, as you've probably just noticed. Um, when he tries to sound things out or remember words or remember music, he always has one thing stuck in his head. And it's he always thinks... That's it. And then we tell him it's not. And then he's like, all right, let me try and figure something out. And then his brain's like, no, stupid. That's definitely it. Yeah. And then he just keeps repeating it. I, I have to Good tell you right God. now, if I tried to do it again, the Superman theme would come out. <laughs> that's the only one that's in my head. Oh. No. Ba, 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 na, ba, ba. There, there we go. go. Wow. What a struggle. I think we did that for 18 minutes. By the way, dude, I am caught up on murders, uh, only murders. Are you caught up? Mm-mm. I forgot a new season was out, so I only watched the first two episodes. I just remembered. You just reminded me. I completely forgot that was out. I want to tell you something, dude. What a great show. So good. What a great show. Why Selena Gomez hasn't ended up with an Emmy yet, I'm stunned. Like, she's Uh, so good as Mabel in that show. Like, Martin Short uh, also is like... (coughs) It's weird for me to think that Steve Martin is the weak link in that trio. 100% he's the weak link. But, But, which is so bananas to say... Because he is like a genius. Yeah, but and you know what? I think he's more interested in banjo right now than he is in his. I think he has the number one bluegrass song in the country right now. Is I think does he? Yeah, I think so. Whoa, his, his banjo playing is like next level. He plays the banjo, dude. Steve Martin is legit a expert banjo player. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just like for fun, he started playing banjo and then he was like, oh, hey, look, I can fucking... I can't speak to why he started playing it, but I can tell you that he, I believe he had the number one bluegrass song in the... Just my Lightning country? just like Just my Lightning McQueen crush. You Ch- got it right. Kachow or Kachow? Ch- Ch- no, Kachow. Kachow. I'm going to show everybody my Lightning McQueen crush. Hold on. Fucking Kachow. Hold on, hold on. I want, I want to see if you guys can see it light up. It might be too bright in here. Yeah, I yeah, I saw, it. I saw it. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Do you remember when the I, these were the shoes that I was rocking all the time? I just came from the gym, everybody. Oh yeah, I put round one Pumas. Oh no, the Ralph. Simpsons. This is the Ralph Sampson. Sampson. I don't think they make the round ones anymore. 
No, the round ones got discontinued like before I got out of high school. Oh, by the way, and then and which then was I, a bummer because those round ones, those you know, those all suede blue and red round ones we had were fucking so crazy. Cool. Oh my god! I have one more good idea, and then I want to hear your topic. Okay. You know the man of the street stuff we did yesterday? Yes. We're gonna do it at our shows. We're gonna pick some people out of line. Perfect. Oh, that's a really interesting idea. Like in between shows, just go talk to people in line. I think that's the way to do it because we'll get parents and kids and people who yeah, will yeah, 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 hundred percent. Okay, and, that's really and, interesting. So I think I think it'll be a really good idea, don't you? Yeah, but also at the same time, is it really man on the street? It's because, man on the street. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're not planting any of these people. We're not telling them what to say. I mean, not intentionally planting these people, but they are coming to see your show. That has zero effect on what we're asking them. Here's what. Here's, okay. the, here's the only thing it does is it makes them more Comfortable. willing to talk. Yeah, okay. And this, the questions we're asking people have, it's not like you're cheating on a test. We're not planting people and saying, hey, I don't know who they are. I've never met them before. I'm asking them questions about their kids and you're asking people questions about their parents. Okay, fair So enough. it really has nothing to do with, you know? Okay, fair enough. And um, they're going to be more willing to talk to us. Okay. That's not a bad idea. It's actually a good idea. That's what I meant by saying that's not a bad idea. No, I want to hear you say it's a good idea. Well, tough shit. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. All right. How about that? <laughs> Take it where you can get it. All right. <laughs> all right, dude. Hit me. Okay. So the only thing I want to talk about today is something that my lovely girlfriend has brought to my attention. Some really strange shit. Okay. So she has a least favorite animal. Do you want to take a guess at what it is? A least favorite animal? Least favorite animal. Can you give me... Sea creature. They're gross and weird and... Uh, 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 a uh, uh, stingray. Not stingray, a jellyfish. No, she actually wants jellyfish for Christmas, and that's what I'm getting here for Christmas. Yeah, that's okay. It's legal. It, yeah. It's 100% legal. But, but like, you're getting here jellyfish, and so you're getting a big tank? Bro, they don't have to be the size of me. They're going to be like tiny little ones. We'll get like a regular fish tank. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so a sea creature that's gross? Gross looking. Think about it. Mm, it looks like a snake. An eel? Bingo. Mm. So they're weird, right? So she was like, hey, I, did you ever hear about this? I said, what? She said, did you know that nobody actually knows where eels come from? And I was like, what do you mean? You mean what family they're in? No, no, no. Like, legit. You Scientists have never, ever seen an eel's mate and or a fertilized eel egg have ever been found. What they've never they've never seen eel birth. They've did you Google this? Yes, yes. We've I've done we did a crazy amount of research about it. So they've dissected eels as well and have found no sexually reproducing organs. Also, at no one, dick, no vagina, zero. Now, also at one point in time, butthole, maybe, probably. Okay. So and also at, at one point in time, they uh, scientists had thought they had discovered five new species of eels. When in reality, the five species of eel were all the same species of eel, just at different ages in its lifespan. So as it got older, like it was younger, it was a different color. As it got older, it almost evolved to looking into something different. But they were all the same. They were How all the same. How long do they live? Do you know? No idea. But so, but so as scientists have started to realize this, they've started <clears throat> to go looking for them. Because why the fuck have we never seen an eel reproduce, a fertilized eel egg, anything like that? As they move closer to some place called, okay, go ahead. It, they have eel in captivity. That's what I said. They've never seen an eel mate in captivity. That's nothing. Are my fingers are really that long. No, they're not. And th in this hand, they look real long. <laughs> okay, go ahead. And so, as scientists are trying to discover this and look around, they notice that they're finding. Smaller and smaller eels in what they call the Sargosa Sea. It's named the Sargosa Sea for, uh, it's got like Tommy these, Sargosas. No, it's got like this uh, repeating current, but also it brings in a certain type of Sargosa seaweed. So it's called the Sargosa Sea. The closer they get to the Sargosa Sea, the smaller and smaller eels they find. Okay. okay. So they can only presume that they're coming from the Sargosa Sea. Like that's the eels. You know how sharks mate yep, in yep. certain waters. How and big do eels get? Any idea? I'm asking Google. you a lot of eel info. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I could Google it for you and we can right. figure it out. But, okay. you know, they're they're decent. Like, they're they're pretty much... You can Google it. Yeah. Okay, so, keep going. And so as they get closer to the Sargosa Sea, they find smaller and smaller eels. So they assume that this is their mating pattern, right? 
However, the Sargosa Sea, there's never been an adult eel ever spotted in the Sargosa Sea until a couple years ago. So they're not, they, the math isn't mathing, right? Oh, and one more thing, the Sargosa Sea is in the Bermuda Triangle. What does that have to do with anything? I just think it's suspicious. Like, eels, so, eels already kind of look like aliens, right? Like, or like weird creatures that just don't kind of make sense in life. Like, the fact that this trail is leading the scientists back to the Bermuda Triangle. Just because they're small doesn't mean that they're not grown. This says adult eels can be as short as 10 centimeters or as long as three meters. Right. But when you see, like, I'm, it's not based on size. Like, they're, they can... Tell, they can tell the age if they capture the eel and right, figure right, out how right, young right. it is, right? But they're finding younger and younger eels the closer they get to the Sargosa Sea. And the Sargosa Sea is in the Bermuda Triangle. Coincidence? I think not. Like, I think, like, wh- like isn't that just strange all the way around? Like, so that the Sargosa is the only place on earth where eels breed. That's what we think. That's what this says right here. Yes, but still, no eel egg or any fertilized egg or any some sort of mating has been discovered or recorded this is what this says okay what does it say how do eels mate eels release their eggs underwater to be fertilized by clouds of expelled sperm super cool so you have to you don't you don't they don't come in the eel they just do a spray shot that's what salmons do don't they they just do a spray shot and the eggs just kind of fall through them yeah fuck that's awesome but that's my thing it's like nothing no they've never found a fertilized eel egg ever Wow. So where do they come I, from? I Okay. I has anyone ever seen an ale not only have eels never been seen mating in the wild, their eggs have never been found nor have their reproductive organs been easy to find despite hundreds of dissections over thousands of years. Apparently at a certain age when eels evolve, their reproductive organs or like all their other organs literally disappear and they become like I, I heard so they're married. Gross. That's a joke about married people not having sex, everybody. Welcome to my dad. It's dad joke time. Yeah, mom, can't wait for you to see that joke. Yeah, she um, doesn't watch this. I know she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know she doesn't. She's not watching this. No, of course not. But so don't you think that's weird? I do. Like a, a creature that is found all the time. Like we see photos of it, all that stuff. Nothing has ever been found of where like where they I, come from. Like, isn't that you, strange? I'm fascinated by that because but I also love it. Do you know what I it's love? Creepy. I, here's what I love about it. I love things. Look, man, what, pre-Google, and you're like, what is that? I don't understand what that means. Pre-Google, it was great to have discussions. It was great to have conversations and ask questions that people might not, just to discuss ideas and thoughts. Right. The fact that I just went straight to Google is a bummer. Be, be, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do miss that. But I, I will, but I will say also with Google, it 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 expels the possible the possibility of false information sure. transferring wow. from word of mouth. There's a lot of false information on there. Right, that is also true. But I'm saying it's like it's just like a backup. It's yes. like something to prove or disprove uh, certain here, information. Here's. So if they are oh. dropping eggs and the sperm is is gonna is jumping in on the way down, right? So I'm assuming some eggs don't get fertilized. Correct. How big's the cloud? Do you know what I'm also, saying? Also, how big are the eggs? And how many sperms are just? How many eel are just like? How do you know where to come? You don't. Well, so you're just. Well, I you're, bet you swimming with I, another I, eel. No, no, I bet you the female lays the eggs and then the male. And then they hit up the ocean floor, and then the male swims over them, crop dusts the eggs, and then leaves. Welcome to the cum zone. <laughs> <laughs> you think there's just a flashing light? That's <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the cum zone. And an eel just kind of comes through and drops the eggs right through the cum zone. And then these... Eels, they're all born with like, with like, you know, st- like stiletto shoes and like a, and like a fur coat. No. 
Here's what I. Think. You took the joke too far with the little stilettos and a fur coat. It just I don't. Even That's know. what took the fur. No, not took it too far, but like you went too long. Like oh you yeah, added yeah, too yeah, many yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have stopped at the very first. At the come, come zone. zone. Yeah, that come zone was good. One. Yeah, you could have just left it there. Would have um, been a better clip. I. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome because I just made the clip again. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that's dude. the highlight of this <laughs> podcast. We're gonna name this podcast the, Bum, super, yeah. the Superman Podcast um, or the Super Dumb Podcast. I think, Either man, one. I'm I'm fascinated. I, I am fascinated by the, and you know, I'm a little scared of the ocean. Yeah. Oh, I've been super invested in megalodon shit the last day or two. How come? Ah, uh, one popped up on my TikTok, and I just love shit like that. So I've just been watching all these Would videos. Would you swim with sharks with me in a cage? In yeah. a cage. In a cage. Yes. I want the full I want the full experience of that ginormous thing swimming by me, but I want to be in a cage. Hey, Paul DeGilder. Yes. Oh, my God. Hey, Paul DeGilder. Pauly D. Not that Pauly D, but the other Pauly D. Yeah, I don't think we call him Pauly D. <laughs> Paul DG. Paul. 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 Pauly DG? Hey, Paul DeGilder. <laughs> hey, listen, man. I think Jacob and I would like to swim with sharks. Indeed. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk Beth into doing it. I'm probably not. Probably not. Excuse me. But I um I we're gonna do it. I've been trying to let you talk me into it for years. You okay. every now and then you ask me the same question. You want to swim with sharks? And my answer every time is yes. Yes, I do. I gotta learn how to snorkel or something. Bro, it's can I be honest? If if they put us in scuba gear in the cage, it's so easy. Yeah, I just have, have to learn how scuba. It's so easy, dude. Like legit. Like you'll just have the thing weigh you down the entire time, but you have oxygen. You breathe just in through your mouth, out through your mouth the entire time, and you have flippers on. So you, as long as you're keeping your legs moving, you're chilling. And you could probably just hold on to the bars of the cage. That way. I'm probably not going to hold on to the bars of the cage when the shark is there. I'm going to touch it. The shark. I, when it when it goes by, I'm going to reach through the cage and touch it. Dude, do you know? Yeah. That's not what I'm going to do. Oh, it's what I'm going to do. If it's no. my only time in doing something that's top five things on my bucket list. Is this top five? Swimming with great white sharks is, or any type of shark in a cage, a big shark is, I'm in for. Yeah, we dude. did today, Iman and I, she was like, do you want to play a shark quiz with me? And I was like, she was like, sure. And then in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm going to murder her at this. Mm -hmm. do you remember how much Shark Week I used to oh, watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you had your Shark Week yeah, show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sitting there and I was like, I was like, white tip, reef shark, Caribbean reef shark, black nose. Lemon shark, nurse shark. She was like, I was like basking shark. She was like, what the fuck is a basking shark? I was like a 35 foot shark that uh, people. A must... Carol Baskin shark? No. No, not that one. No, no. Basking. Oh, ba <laughs> <laughs> basking. Oh, well, God, basking yeah. shark, uh, honestly, like speaking of Megalodon, the basking shark, when it's seen in the wild, is the thing most mistaken for Megalodon because the basking shark is like 30 feet long. Like it's and, and is not extinct, but it's like a filter feeder. It's still a carnivore, but it's a shark that opens his mouth super wide. It doesn't have any teeth. Yeah. So it just straight filters the things that come through its mouth and just eats it. it but that's the shark that's most mistaken for a megalodon. Were because you? It looks like a really aggressive shark. Were you geeking out on my Shark Week show more than I thought? Like, were you? Was that a super? Were you pumped for that? Yeah. Yeah. I met David Hasselhoff. Why the fuck Dude, wasn't I pumped you for that? You sang a song with David Hasselhoff. Yeah. And Max from The Wanted. And Bob Oshak. Yeah. Good. Bob Oshak, man. Yeah. One Love of my Bob. favorites. Oh, Dude. my God. Are you kidding me? That dude was so much fun to work with. So good. Dude, oh, my goodness. By the way, you know we went to a baseball game here last night? Yeah. I was the one who walked Indiana Jones last night. Can I just tell you how... It, it's, I think it's called the Las Vegas Ballpark. I want to tell you right now. Minor league games, that's the way to go. It looked like a really cool stadium. Not a bad seat in the house. Not a bad seat in the house. And they keep it entertaining because, you know, you don't really know anybody who's on the field. Right. But it's still, it's AAA baseball, so it's legit. Those are legit players. Yeah. But, like, reasonable tickets. It, you know, the easy in and out. Free parking. Small little park, like I said. So, they're honestly, doesn't matter where you buy that seat. It's a great Seat. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and we enjoyed everybody in the stands was real. I mean, there's there are baseball fans there, obviously, right? But you're there to have a good time. 
Yeah, it's a minor league game. No one's really caring for how the season goes. It's not the experience like at Fenway where people are swearing and fucking, fucking, fucking. Yeah, but I, I like that kind of baseball. Yeah, I like it too. I'm not going to lie. I like it too. I enjoy it. I found out our chiropractor is a Red Sox fan. Oh, is that right? Yeah. He's not from Boston at all. He's actually from California. Um, he said he when he moved here when he was six months old, he just got to pick a team. So he picked the Red Sox. And I was like, good team to pick. Yeah, right? Not bad. Not Who too bad. Who everybody else in his house pick, you know? Probably the Sox. Well, his, his first kid was born in... 2013 when we won the series. His second kid was born in 2017 when we won the series. And then his third kid was born in 2021. And I was like, and that's your bad luck child. Cause I'm pretty sure we were last place that season. And he was like, yeah, it was a tough one. And I was like, yeah, it's a uh, not great. And I think he had a kid this year too. And I was like, there's no way we're winning yeah, the not series this year. year. Did you bad boy for the Sox in 13 or 17? 13. And 13. And 17. I didn't, I didn't do it. Just 13. You would have been 20 and 17. Yeah, I didn't. I. It was 13 and when did Poppy retire? 15? Yeah. 15, because I did his farewell. But 13, you were there with the team that won Gomes, the World Series. Napoli. Yeah, oh yeah, I was there for for Beard Nation, 100%. Yeah, I was I was there for that shit. That Absolutely. was so fucking fun yeah. that whole year. I remember the one game I did it in 2013. We won 4 nothing, and I remember it vividly. Um, we were up we were up one nothing, or we were. It was zero zero in the fourth inning, and Johnny Gomes walking up to bat, and the energy from Johnny Gomes. You're like, in the dugout. Yeah, the I'm in the dugout. Oh, Victorino was on that team too. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. the dude we knew on that team at the time, and Poppy. In thirteen? No, just nope. Victorino. Just Victorino, because I remember Poppy like being in the dugout and getting all the hype and doing that, but. But Victorino was the only one who came up and said, "Hey," and he was like, yeah. "He said Little Wolf," and I was like, "That's me." So. Shout out Shane Victorino. Obviously, shout out David Ortiz. I mean, come on. Um, and and Gomes went up to bat. And I remember standing over there. And I remember him walking up there. He was like, first, we get a hit. Then we move. And he walked up there. And he hit a three-run fucking bomb. Oh, my God. He just demolished a ball to left field to like halfway through that stand back there at Dodger Stadium. And he got to home plate. And he high-fived everybody, and he got to me at the end, and he high-fived me, and he went, and now we move. And got into the dugout and was just fucking, and I was like, this dude's a fucking maniac. Yeah, dude. Like, I missed that 13 team with Napoli and Gomes. And, it was all and, and, great locker room guys. And and it was... It great was, locker room it was, the, it was a perfect. It was the perfect team for that season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ugh, so good. Yeah, like one of my favorite baseball teams ever that of, I've ever had a chance one, to Yeah, one of for. my favorite... One of my favorite teams to ever watch. That playoff run was yeah, pretty amazing. Awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. Not we didn't win in 2017. We won in 2018. My bad. Was it? Yeah, because we were in LA and we beat the Dodgers. And you told me we could have gone and watched us clinch the series, but instead I was at the comedy store. Well, I wanted to do stand up. Yeah, fuck that, dude. We should have <laughs> gone and watched the Sox <laughs> clinch a title in LA. Yeah, like, man. But why didn't we go do that? Because love I can, you and your I can, comedy, I but can fucking, watch highlights of that. Yeah, but we could have gone and gone into the. We could have gone and watched them clinch a World Series in front of our eyes. Yeah, we'll do it again. Yeah, if the Sox are ever that good again, they will be, man. They well, will be. if we don't want to see, if we, look, this, sorry for the sports talk for everybody who doesn't give a shit, but I, I give a shit. You don't have to for, apologize for, to anybody for, for talking about what we want to talk for about. For this Sox team right now, if we don't win something in the next four years and all of our young guys do well, they're getting chipped out. So we got to win a title soon or else we're going to fucking lose everybody again. I am, by the way, was I right or was I right about Colorado winning that game? You were really right about that. You plus 800, you should have placed, well, you were trying to parlay. You should have just had me pick one. I couldn't figure out well, how to no, use we were, the machine. We were doing the NFL. We weren't doing college teams then. Right. We were doing the NFL there. Remember I told you, I was like, this is the bet of the weekend right yeah, here. Yeah. And, and so like, fuck is Travis Hunter, dude. What the hell? The, dude, I, I was so sure that Dion, uh, I can't speak for coming up, but I was so sure of two things that Dion would have those dudes fucking fired up, ready to play. Yeah. And I was also so sure that TCU, although they didn't have as much turnover as Colorado, obviously, mm -hmm. they had a ton. All of their skill players. Hey, yeah. They, All yeah, they, they three, still had 42 points. I like, think three out of five. Uh, they, they just, but I was just so positive that they would cover. I wasn't as positive they were going to win, but I was so positive they were going to cover. Yeah. And so I'm telling you right now, hey, everybody, 
This is a long bet. But you want to go out and bet a little money? Take Jacksonville over. They're, they're projected to win 10 games. Take the over on Jacksonville. Now, obviously, injuries fuck everybody up. But Trevor Lawrence is the real deal. And Calvin Ridley, you guys forget, man. You sleep on Calvin Ridley. He was out for a year, so you forget. I don't sleep on Cal. I remember watching that motherfucker play at Alabama against the Tigers every Yo, year. This dude, that is dude is a dangerous, legit number one. They didn't have yeah. a legit number one last year. Bro, Calvin, Calvin Peterson is a fucking G. He's great. <clears throat> their, their defense is not gonna be amazing. However, Calvin Ridley's no fucking joke in that division, right? What are they gonna play? The Colts. They play the fucking Texans. Colts are going to win maybe three games this year. Uh, yeah, dude. This team is winning more than 10 games. You want a sure-fired W, and that's going to take until January for you to collect your money. I like the Jags. I, I, I hate to say that I like the Browns to win more, but man. More than what? What, is there, what are they? I think they're at eight and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, or they might be at nine and a half. Okay. But uh, who else is in that division? The, the problem with the Browns is is they got to play the Steelers twice. They're going to be good. The Ravens twice. The Ravens twice. And the Bengals twice. Ouch. But but by the way, so that's that's six games. You win the rest of your games. That's over nine and a half. My, dude, they're not losing. They have Deshaun Watson. Say what you want. Went b- before he's going to lose to all three of those teams you just named them. Okay, but before all, all this shit times. went down, this dude was easily top five player in the NFL. Not even close. Yeah, okay. He's still going to lose to all five, all, all three of those I teams. I don't know why he's going to lose to the Steelers. Oh, wait, the Steelers aren't the Steelers anymore. I mean, I love Kenny Pickett. This is what I'm saying, dude. The AFC stacked. But it's, say you get out of those six games, say you get two. But I don't know, dude. They got Miles Garrett. They got Amari Cooper. They got Nick Chubb. They got a fucking legit team. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I, but I'm not. I, I only give out. Look, dude, pretty good. Yeah. What do you mean? Nothing. Get that. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We got to get out of here. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. Um, but take the Jags, everybody. You're welcome. Yeah, don't don't look at me for sports bets. If you want to gamble the right way, go lose it all playing slots. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, <sighs> I will give you one game a week. This one, look, I, I'm just giving you your futures bet on the first week, but next week, everybody, I'm telling you, and I I love this weekend. Uh, if Travis Kelsey doesn't play, especially, I love the Lions with the six and a half. Against the Chiefs? Yeah. No Chris Jones, no Travis Kelsey. They're doing... Oh, yeah. Doesn't he want to get paid still? Isn't he holding out? Chris Jones? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody gets their rings. Bozo. They're going to drop a banner. And oh, people oh. are questioning the Lions and how good they are. And if last year was a... I think this is a chip on the shoulder game. I don't know if they win, but six and a half seems like a lot of points. Bozo just got paid, too. They paid him today? Yeah, I paid him today. Like like two hours, like an hour before we walked how in. How could you not? You got to pay. I think it makes him the highest paid defender in the NFL right now. All right. So listen, dude... Uh, here it is. Uh, highest paid defense player in NFL history with a five-year, $170 million deal, $122.5 guaranteed. That's a lot of money. It's pretty good a lot of money. for a defensive end. Um, listen, guys, and, and I want to say this to you. One, oh, by the way, Indiana got me pretty good. I saw that yesterday. Um, look, dude, just reiterating, super proud of you. Thanks, man. Um, I love the energy that this new direction has given you. Me too. I really do. Lean into it. Oh, yeah. I am. More, 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 more. More! I'm like Kylo Ren. I That's right. That. More! Dude, more, 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 <laughs> more, you, more, more, more. Can you more. edit that in? Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks. <laughs> more, dude, dude. More, 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 more. And what I mean by that is watch the sets. Yeah. Uh, and because, like I said, man, there's more pressure on you. Not more pressure. That's not the right word. I know what you mean. And so... Prove these motherfuckers wrong. Oh, I'm already doing it. I know you are. So I know you're just going to keep going. And I want to tell you something else. That man on the street stuff yesterday you did yesterday, two yesterdays? No. Yesterday, yesterday? I said man on the street stuff you did yesterday, yesterday. Just one. That's all right. That's two yesterdays. No, I'm saying saying all you need is one. Yeah. 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 I was so impressed. Jacob Wolf. 
that is not an easy skill. I was so impressed, not only with the energy you went into the interviews, but the follow-up questions you had on the fly. I was so impressed, dude. You're you're growing exponentially. Thanks. So I I, I cannot wait. I'm so proud of you. And I want to say, um, yeah. That's that, it. that last guy we interviewed yesterday made me laugh. Oh, dude. The, are you kidding me? The the what was his name? Daryl? Dylan. Dylan. Could shit, it could have been Daryl. It's amazing. But it's definitely Dylan. Yeah. But the way he answered some of those questions, and there were two in a row that really made me laugh. How funny was that clip I sent you? Oh my God. I want the clip of, we I want, can't post that. No, but. no, no. But I want the I want the clip of Dylan. It's and coming. I'll, I'll tell you when we come out of the exact one that I want. Oh, I know the one. Do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Guys, I can't wait for you to see the yeah. Man of Street stuff so that Jacob funny. did. Um, uh, can I just say before you do your wrap up? Yep. Hey, everybody. We're having a ton of fun. I read all your messages about the about the show, and I greatly appreciate them. I really appreciate the ones where you say, you know, I shared this pod with my dad, or I shared this with my son, or I shared it with my brother, I shared it with my mom, I shared it with my sister, I shared it with my daughter. We love doing this. Um, and the truth of the matter is the way you grow podcasts is by going on other people's podcasts. Mm -hmm. We're in Vegas. Um, and we, so we don't have an opportunity to, um, go on a ton of other podcasts. So any word of mouth stuff from you guys is amazing. Yeah. Any, uh, review you leave on iTunes helps moves us up closer to the new and noteworthy helps get, gets us in the front page. So any help from you guys, like I said, we're not, we're not peddling stuff on here. Yeah. We're not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We would really appreciate any kind of help word of mouth. If you're enjoying it, spread the word, everybody spread the word. Josh Wolf comedy on all platforms for him. Comedian Josh Wolf .com for tour dates and tickets. Like he said, we're in Denver this weekend, Chicago, Minneapolis and Harris, Michigan, the week after Calusa and Napa, California, the third weekend in September. I will not be there for that, ladies and gentlemen. I will be here in Vegas going to a music festival. Pretty excited about that. The Brad Wallach from Chelsea Lately will be uh, there. Yo, yo, if you're going to those Napa and Calusa shows, funny. good God. I haven't seen Brad do stand-up in 10 years, but I that motherfucker so is ridiculous. Holy yeah. shit. So go see them. And then the last weekend in September, we're in Omaha, Nebraska, baby. Fuck yeah, we are. So we'll be right for that. And then, you know, rest of the dates... For October, UK, Europe, for the rest of the year, uh, are on comedianjoshwolf.com. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Youthful or twitch.tv slash youthful wolf on Twitch. Uh, probably no streams this week. Uh, we'll get back to them on next week when next week starts. Um, My oldest son, Trevor, will be with me in Fort Worth. Um, first weekend of October. First weekend of, by the way, the Pilates instructor came to our Pilates. My Pilates instructor came to one of our shows this weekend in Vegas. She almost shouted out, why is Jacob being such a pussy about Pilates? To you? Uh, in front of everybody. She can yell whatever she wants. When are you coming in and doing a little Pilates session? And you keep saying you're going to bring me in, but you never do. So Next Monday. Yeah, I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> go do something good for someone today. Tell them you love them. We love you guys. All right. All right, See guys. You next time. Love you later.